Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fully debloat Windows 11 to unlock the maximum performance and reduce the high memory and the CPU usage. So there are many softwares and features application on Windows 11 that run in the background and many people, even they don't know about it, they don't use it. So it's a good idea that you can debloat those software of Windows 11 and get the maximum performance all right but before that i would recommend that please take a restore point so that in case if you are not comfortable if you miss something or if you want to revert the changes then you can quickly do that so how you have to do click on the search box of your windows 11 and type here create restore and you will be getting a suggestion create a restore point click on it system properties box will be up and here you will be getting an option of create so click on create and now it will ask you the name that what name would you like to give so you can just type before debloat so that you can quickly know that uh, when you create it and for what purpose and then you have to click on create now it will take some time and it will create a restore point for you and once done you will be getting a message the restore point was created successfully now you can click on close and now we can freely debloat the windows 11 without any problem because at least we are having the satisfaction that if anything goes wrong we can revert the action all right so now what you have to do next click on the search box type here power shell you will be getting windows powershell you need to make a right click on it and choose run as administrator then click on yes and a blue or a black window will be coming up now here you have to type a few command in order to execute the command and download the deep load software so the command you will find in the description you need to copy the first command that is set execution policy unrestricted force you need to copy it and then come to powershell make a right click and it will be pasted now hit enter and then you need to paste the another command so copy it come to powershell and make a right click and hit enter so once you hit enter the deep load software would be coming up like this and it says deep load windows and you can use this for both windows 10 and windows 11. now there are many options you can see that customize block list remove all bloatware and then we have cortana edge registry changes and there are many other options so what will happen if i go and click remove all blotware so that will basically delete many of the things that we do not want like uninstall onedrive so uninstalling onedrive can affect your windows 11 file and document so we won't do that similarly unpin tiles from start menu remove blotware uh, rec keys disable telemetry task we don't want that okay so what we will do we will click on customize block list you need to click on it and another box will be coming up so if you scroll down so you will see that these all options are being checked okay and there are many things that are unchecked which are not recommended so what you need to do you need to look to the boxes you need to look in the application which are checked and you do not want that should be removed all right like it's a microsoft print 3d then we have microsoft whiteboard nobody use it and then you can scroll down minecraft so in case if you need minecraft twitter facebook spotify so it's recommended instead of using the application you can go and browse from the google chrome or any other browser but if you need minecraft if play game then you can uncheck this option similarly you have to look to the whole list over here look for all the application and whichever you need you can just uncheck that option and rest you can keep them checked okay and once you are done you have to click on save custom allow list and block list to custom list dot psl once done you can close it and then you need to click here remove blotware with custom block list click on it and the removal will be started and it will take some time 
and it says this may take a while please be patient so you need to just wait it can take about 15 minutes 20 or sometime more than that so it's better that you should wait here and after that i will let you know what to do okay so finally it's been done and you can see it says now the final cleanup and the blotware removal removed okay so what we have to do next you have to minimize it and then again come to this box here of debloat options and now here for you get few some more options like if you want to disable the cortana then you can disable the cortana from here edge pdf then we have dark theme if you want to disable the dark theme then you can disable that so it's all up to you if you're not sure about it kindly do not do anything else all right so once you are done and then you have to restart your pc and after you will see that there has been a great change the performance has been increased and it's working very fast and even if you go ahead and check your uh, memory and the cpu usage you will find a great drop and the cpu and the memory usage will be surely going down all right now in case after debloating the windows 11 if you feel to revert the changes if you want to go back or if you're not feeling good then what you can do click on the search box type here rstrui and choose rstrui run command and here you will be getting this box click on next and you will see your restore point that we just created in the beginning so if you want to revert the changes if you're not satisfied with the uh, deep load of windows 11 or 10 then you can revert the action so you need to click on it and then click on next and then click on finish and after that your computer will be reverted to the original condition so you have both the options so it's the best way to deep load your windows 11 to get the best performance maximum performance and any case if you're not comfortable you can also revert it back so hopefully guys this video will help you to quickly know how to deep load uh, windows 11 completely to get the maximum performance and decrease your memory and the cpu usage if you find this video helpful then you can consider subscribing to the channel like the video and i see you in the next video Bye bye